can sneak in a bit of first class zero while Mum's upstairs. And where do you think you're going? Um, if you've finished cleaning the kitchen, which I very much doubt, then you can go up and tidy your bedroom. Oh! Hang on a minute. Where are you going? To tidy my bedroom. Oh, it's just not fair! Why do grown-ups always boss us kids around? Mmm! Yum! Vegetable stew! Come on, Henry. Eat your vegetables. Why? Because... Well, it's not fair! You grown-ups get to eat whatever you like, but we don't! I like vegetable stew. Who asked you, Worm? Don't be horrid, Henry. See what I mean? Hello and welcome to the Big Dig. Today, Moly Row will be taking you down under. Oh, please, please, can we turn over? <sighs> I'm going up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire now. Come on, Henry, it's your bedtime too. Oh, that's not shouldn't be going to bed at the same time as the worm! Says who? Says me! That's who! Oh, I suppose what I say doesn't matter, cos I'm just a kid! <laughs> Luckily, Mum and Dad don't know about gross class zero catch-up! <laughs> Simon Snotful realised that he was never going to get away unless he swapped lives with Barbara Conklin. Wake up! Wake up now! What is it? I can't find my work shoes. And my tingly toothbrush annual report's gone missing too. What? What are you asking me for? Cos you're supposed to know where they are. And I've spilt tickle treats all over the floor in the kitchen. Why don't you clear them up, then? Not my job. You're the grown-up. I am? Um, what do I do now? You're supposed to be getting me my breakfast. Oh, right. Mm. Oh, slow down. You're making a real mess. Do I have to go to work today? Yes, of course you have to go to work today. Otherwise, how will you have enough money to buy me things? Oh, at last. Maybe the worm can work out what's going on. Morning, Dad. <laughs> Got out of bed the wrong side as usual, I see. Peter? Yes, Henry. Have you noticed anything uh, different about today? No. Oh, yes, Mum's not up yet, and she needs to leave her work in precisely three minutes. What? I'd better tell her. Good luck with that, Henry. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Well, Henry, I'm waiting. Where is your homework? The aliens ate it, miss. Just how stupid do you think I am, Henry? No, uh, not stupid at all, Miss Battleaxe. So, um, tell me about these aliens then, Henry. Well, you see, it was like this, Miss Battleaxe. It happened last night when Peter and me were playing Snap, just before having an early night. Snap! You take the point, Peter, even though we put our cards down at the same time. Oh, thank you, Henry. You are the best brother ever. Time for bed, boys. Oh, goody. Are we having an early night? Yes, Henry. Would you like some hot chocolate first? Oh, no, thank you, Mum. I've already brushed my teeth. <laughs> Come on, Henry. Race you upstairs to bed. OK. <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> Did you hear that noise, Henry? There's someone in your fort, Henry. You're right, Peter. Well spotted. I wonder who it is. I'm going to go and see. Ooh, you're so brave, Henry. I'd come with you, only I'm a little bit scared. 
Don't worry, little brother of mine. You stay here where you'll be safe. Droopy pants. And what's that? It's my new plant. Woohoo! Miss Lovely gave it to me. Why? We're making our plants grow up to be happy plants by playing music and singing to them. <laughs> what's that for? Feeding time. Growing plants need to be fed regularly. So what are you feeding it? I have some very nutritious plant food. <laughs> but what if it wants a sandwich? I'm not reading you poetry. Hey, would you like to see the latest issue of Kung Fu Cockroach? Want one? Ah, we need music. Quality time! <gasps> what are you doing? I think your plant likes me. Of course it does. You've got the same IQ. You're lost, party features. Oh, look. Henry's finally got a friend. Just a pity it's a vegetable. <laughs> Actually, it's not a vegetable. Its Latin name is... Oh, up early, boys. Henry, housework today, remember? The hoover won't run itself. <gasps> he doesn't like poetry. He? <sighs> if I had a plant, I'd teach it to eat rubbish so I'd never have to clean up ever again. Did you ring the bell? Brilliant! Wait here a minute. Wow, that plant can move by itself. Henry, you can't have finished already. All right, all right. Oh, this is exhausting. <sighs> oh, stupid Peter and his stupid plant waking me up so early. <sighs> it's for me! We've come to see your 
Blonde, how are you doing? Ta-da! Ooh, it's lovely! How do you get it to grow so big? Regular nutritious food. And I've been reading it poetry. Ooh, yes! yes. It especially likes sardines. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry, turn the light out now and go to sleep, please. But, Mum, there's a demon dinner lady at school and she's taking all our treats. Oh, that's nice. Night-night. There must be a way to stop her. There must. There must. No more. No, no more. I demand to know who's the... The smarty pants who did this terrible thing to poor Greta. Or it's back to school dinners for the lot of you. Miss, I am smarty pants. No, Miss, I am smarty pants. No, Miss, I am smarty pants. No, no. I, I am smarty pants. Eureka! That's it! This is more than just a one kid job. Hello. Greasy Greta can just chew us up and spit us out. But together, we are indigestible! Henry, pipe down and go to sleep. We can do it. Work with you, no way. But we can only stop her if we stick together. <laughs> We'd all get into trouble. But we got to do something. Yes, she's getting stranger and stranger. Well, too many treats are bad for you. She can't stop herself. That's why my plan will work. No, it won't. Will it? I don't know. Wasn't it? Was it? Yeah! It was too cool for school. <sighs> didn't see it. it. Didn't see it? Why not? Homework. Homework? Don't tell me you actually did some. Of course I didn't. But Mum wouldn't let me watch TV. So I read my gross class zero bumper annual instead. Oh, uh, the one from last year or the year before? Oh, last year's. The one before was rubbish. Yeah, it was. Henry, Ralph, in here now. So, uh, of course, as you all know, the first subject of the day is homework. I'm assuming you haven't done any, Henry. Uh, no, miss. And what is your excuse this time? Um... You know, Henry, you could actually try doing some homework. <laughs> yeah? And how am I going to do that? Well, there are lots of websites that can help you with your homework. Well, is there one that actually does your homework for you? Well, what would be the point of that? Worth a look, Henry. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Brian! Mum says... Go away, worm. Can't you see I'm busy? Mum says she doesn't care it. What? She doesn't care that I'm doing homework? Henry? You're doing your homework? Yes. Look. The ultimate website for homework. Oh, Henry. You are doing your homework. 
Keep up the good work, Henry. It's all worth it in the end. Mum! Hmm, let's see. The ultimate website for homework excuses. <laughs> this is what I need. Let's try the random selector button. And what is your excuse this time? Well, I was halfway through my homework and I got distracted, Miss. Did you know? And what exactly was it that distracted you, Henry? An investigation into the root cause of physical randomicity, Miss. E eh? Yes, it's a really interesting subject. Would you uh, like me to tell you all about it, Miss? E no, Henry, not now. But I'm glad to hear you've been doing some work, of sorts. So, Henry, anything distract you from your homework last night? Well, yes, Miss Battleaxe. I'm waiting, Henry. The fascinating question of whether man is mighty or mundane. Hmm. And what conclusion did you come to? Ah, uh, well, I didn't, Miss. You see... Oh. It's so easy being me. I'm Brushing your teeth if you don't want to. Yours disappointedly, Henry. <sighs> Who was your biggest fan? To perform? Of course! We're going to be ready to perform! Otherwise, my name's not Margaret Millicent Mordia Smythe. Is it? No! Now, take five while I warm up. Again! La 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 la! La la la! Hang on a minute! That looks like Henry's writing! Ed Banger, mean, horrible parents, I have to stay in every night to do my homework. <laughs> I don't think so, Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe. Time to pack up, boys. Hey? We're out of here. Got to post a letter for Henry. You what? to help you with your homework. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah. on rocking. Yes. Yeah, I do have to brush my teeth. Otherwise, my mum nags me something rotten. <laughs> Even Ed Banger has to brush his teeth. <laughs> cool. Good afternoon. Um, we're the Zero Zombies. And we're here to celebrate my granddad's birthday. Oh, One, two, three, four. Wait! Oi! Where do you think you're going? To sing with the Zero Zombies. No way, Henry. I'm the lead singer with the Zero Zombies now. Oh, let me through. Henry, you made it. Told you I wouldn't let you down. What you got there, Henry? Rockstar's homework. Just follow me for the changes.
end of an era. Or the beginning of another. What do you mean? A new go-kart. Bigger, better, faster, stronger. Really? The fastest go-kart the world has ever seen. Yes! But first, we've got to make it. Oh, yeah. So we need a... Good suspension. Yes, good suspension. Front steering and rear brakes. A rocket. Rockets? The big book of go kart says that adding accessories can have a negative impact on aerodynamics. A jet fuel power boosters. Now there's an idea. And supersonic mega blasters. Yeah, supersonic mega blasters. Cool. <laughs> We need this! Just, um, browsing? Na 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 